Is that a winner? Yeah, it's a winner. There you go. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Stans Fam channel. I'm Nick Stanzik here at Bud and Mary's Marina. We're supposed to be going sword fishing, but we're one of the last boats here. Um, most of the fleet's fishing today. Only bad news is our people have not shown up, and I have the uneasy feeling that we're getting no-showed again. That would be twice in a month or two, and it has probably only been one time in five years before that, so they say things happen in threes, so with our luck, it could happen a third time. But here we go. This could be the lucky bait. This could be the one. That could be the one right there. The one. On more exciting news, we got a wash down pump that's out, so we might show you changing that. And uh, this part owning a boat there, you got pumps go out, this goes out, that goes out. Always trying to fix something. If you guys got a boat, you probably know that. I want to take you back to yesterday though, and we went fishing there with Larry and his buddies, and uh, I had a lot of fun with those guys. So check out this swordfish we caught yesterday. The moon's crashing over the horizon over there. Isn't it? Feel pump. Before you had seen it, I had seen it. Like, Adam, I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> We're winding up the front rod. We're hooked up on the back rod. A lot of line out. Trying to get a swordfish. Had a pre ride out there, nice sunrise. Show you some of that now as we're talking. Found a lot of bait out here on the ledge. 1605 and good bait, so find the bait. Sometimes you can find the fish and hopefully he stays on there and makes our day. James is loading up now, he's getting the harpoon ready and all that. Getting closer. Here comes the lead, guys. Here comes the lead. Alright, slow down a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're on top, guys. Right there he is. Oh, yeah. Really nice. Nice. You can see him down on the line. Just yeah, he's, he's like 50 down. down. Not even. He's bleeding. He's going to jump. He is. Woo! Yeah. Way to go. Go hose again. Oh! Nice fish. Nice fish. Oh, we got him. We got him now. Keep coming. Let's go nice and slow. Nice and slow. Keep coming. Keep coming. You want to scan with the gap? Got one, guys. Right. Very nice. Yeah, nice job, guys. Second drop of the day. We got one. Yeah. Can you taste them already? <laughs> <laughs> On the grill. Here we go. Now you got to give them a you. Hey, watch the bill. Remember the you. Really sharp. Yeah. I got. I'm gonna put gloves on. We got one, you guys. We're on the board. Strong work. We're on the board. <laughs> Just don't let them poke me, James. I'll be angry. Very angry. Beautiful colors. Now. He's coming in for dinner. Got him. Ready? Got him. Got him. He just dropped his tail. I got him. Don't drop the tail? Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's oh, yeah. Got him. Yeah. Yeah. A cookie cutter shark yeah. or something. Yeah, maybe or maybe a sword bill. Sword, sword, sword bill. bill. Yeah. Yep. Might be all a sword bill when they poke each other there, healed up. Yeah, now, Nick, how do you tell the difference of the cookie cutter and the sword? Cookie, cookie, cookie cutter, cutter I think, yeah, would be more rounded. rounded. Be this more is like. That's like a jab, like a poke. So we can probably cut his bill and put him in the box, right? Oh, no, let's, let's get, get some a couple pictures. One, two, three. We get him a little better. One, two, three. That one. Perfect. Oh, he's in the box. Oh, it's a keeper, all right. Yeah, there's <laughs> definitely more around. I was eating my sandwich. Doug hooked up a mahi back here, so I've got it on now. Here we are, mahi tacos. Oh, you got him. Started. Oh, jumper. There's a jumper out there. There's big the keeper. Job, big job. This time of year, when I heard drifting for swordfish, yeah, the mahis can ambush you, they can swim right to you. So, Hold on. we'll take them when they show up. Hold them right there for a second. That's a keeper there. Yeah. What kind of that? Beautiful fish. So, if you guys want, you come down here to Bud and Mary's. They're just showing up. And the summertime is the best time for mahi. They're just showing up here late. You know, springtime, they start showing up. Get a little consistency, and she'll get better and better. Oh, wait, watch out. All in one motion, flip them in. Yeah, ready? Hold it, hold them there. 
All in one shot, go ahead. Ready? You can cut the spool when it's headed right here. Here you go, in the well. Out of boy. That Mahi belly make good swordfish bait, too. This is really what we do all day. We sit here and watch this rod. It's really boring, but if you catch fish, it's exciting. <laughs> right? Truth. Hey, that's called daytime sword fishing. Yeah, it's a lot of watching a rod tip. Watching that rod tip, looking for a little bite, not looking for one to hit it. Hopefully we get another shot there. We got one in the boxes, so we're happy about that. And got one mahi, and hopefully we'll get the second keeper mahi in here soon. Do a little deep drive, we hooked a good fish, but broke our rig, it looks like. Turns out we had a rosy on. That's what we came up with, so. Shock. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Look at that. Shaking around a lot. I don't know what it is. It's probably dinner. It stays on. <laughs> We're deep drive like this. You never know what it's gonna be. I mean, squid on the bottom. Anything could eat it. Grab that line. I got you. It does have a cool like pinkish tint to it. It does. What do you think of that thing? Pretty cool. Yeah. They all size up, they all want to eat them. Yep. Look how beautiful. They all, they all want to eat them. You guys notice this hat? Check this hat out. You're on camera, buddy. Want to say hi? Hi. Where are you guys from? Wilmington, North Carolina. From Wilmington, North Carolina, all the way down here. Probably warmer here than there. There's the banana bread. We've been waiting all day for Who it. says you can't catch a fish with the banana on the boat? There you yeah. go. They haven't been fishing with Nick Stanzik. Special delivery, you guys. Special delivery. I see you sizing that up. There's banana bread in there. We got one, Mike. Yes, yes, nice, lovely, you know? Nice chunky fish, 62 inches. Perfect eater. 100 pounder. Pretty good. Nah. But it still looks good though. These are rose going on. Slab of meat there. Fresh swordfish. Here's a harpoon dart. We were looking for that. Yep. Went all the way through there, so give that back to James. He can tap it back on. You want that, buddy? <laughs> I was looking at it. I saw him looking at it there. You don't want to take it home for a souvenir? You can put it in your brother's suitcase. <laughs> All right, I don't want to take it in there. We're going to cut open the inside, though. Check this part out. The lens. The lens. Yeah, the lens. We got to do the lens here. You're looking for it. There it is. I don't know if you can see me through there, but I should be upside down, kind of flipped. Hopefully you can see it there. Can you see it, Ellen? See me upside down? I see you too. Everybody. Does anybody want to eat that? How much? They eat it. How much? They eat it in certain uh, areas. Hundred dollars. Uh, they probably eat it in North Carolina. Hundred dollars. They definitely eat it in Louisiana and Texas. You take Monopoly money? Hundred dollars right now. Who's got it? All right, we got more fish to clean. We'll check in with you guys later on. Hope you enjoy it. Time to change the pump. We got wire cutters, wire strippers there. Got a couple connections. There's our new wash down pump here. The SureFlow. I think the other one was like a year and a half old, so time to change it out. Oh, they can hand crank if they want. All right, back to the hole. Here we go. That pump back there. We gotta put the camera somewhere. 
Oh, let's see. We gotta disconnect the hoses. That hose is off. Oh, that water stinks. So one good thing about being five foot nine, you can get in here a little easier. It's not fun either way though, I promise you that. And these pumps are funny. Sometimes you get a couple years out of them, sometimes you only get a few months, but I think the other one was since I had the boat, I believe. I don't think I've changed it, so could have been as much as a year or nine months old. The pump is off. When you cut your cable ties, want to make sure you get all the little pieces out of here because they clog your bilge pump and then you ruin your bilge pump. I think this is the original one though, so that's good at least. Because I don't think I crimped these back like this, so. Looks like it was done by a professional, not me. I hear you're making mic up there. <laughs> and the bad news is it's not the exact same pump, so the fittings are not the same. Nothing's ever easy. Nothing's ever easy. These were quick disconnects. These ones are screw-on fittings, so. So we're putting a new pump on. We don't have the right fittings, but uh, I'll get Pancake to send some. The, uh, it's a different type of pump we found out. So the mounting pattern on the bolts were not the same on the screws, but uh, we just drilled a couple new holes and put some new screws in it now. Here we go. There's two wires. We're gonna put the black to the black and the red to the orange, it kind of looks like, but it's probably supposed to be red. That one's crimped there. We just heat shrink those right there and just get the right fittings for uh, the connections here. We need some screw on fittings and we'll be good to go. When you do the heat gun, you know, you don't want to melt everything, so you got to keep it away and kind of wave it around. Oh, it's getting hot now. If you don't want to melt your connection, weaken it. We're going to do the radio antenna next. The satellite radio antenna went out. We have had no music. James is putting fresh line on the spinners. Mahi season's coming. You know, it's uh, the second week in April and they should be showing up so we want to have fresh line on there for casting at them. Those are 20 pound spinners, you know, 15 to 20 pound mono on them. Or you can fish braid, 30 or 40 pound braid. Hopefully the spinners show up this week. We've had the order in for a while and uh, hopefully uh, they'll be up on the website here in the next couple weeks. So spinners, conventionals, we got jigging rods coming, the kids rods, everything's coming. So here we go. Yeah. Some of you guys asked where this machine was there. A spooled up, spooled up tackle right there, if you can see it. It is expensive, but it keeps pressure on the line and uh, does work well, and you can do it one person. There's not have to hold the line, so. We made a mess so far today. So we're on source, it says no signal there. You guys can see that. So I suppose it's the radio antenna. We got a new one here. We're gonna hook that up. Because we need tunes out there. We need satellite radio because it's, uh, Pretty boring sometimes when you're sword fishing, you not getting any bites, and I can run out of jokes pretty quick, so. Oh, it's already falling out of there. That might be the radio connection right there, I'm not sure. I'm gonna put the camera down, but we're gonna go look at it. We're gonna put this on the hard top up top, then the roof, and there's a connection right there. Hopefully, you can see it. I just hit my head on the light and broke that. Oh, there's silicone underneath there. Look at that. We gotta get the silicone out of the hole there so we can get the metal connection piece through it. And it broke. The moment of truth. We just reconnected that. We're gonna turn it on, see if we got an antenna. Really? We're back. So the antenna just went bad up there. Um, haven't had that happen before, but it just happened. Dude, we got baits for days. We got baits, we got baits in there. For yesterday, we got, we got some beat up baits from here. yesterday, some fresh ones. We, we got, got a lot of fresh ones over here. Yeah, lots of freshies. Look at all those fresh baits. Right so. All right, that's all I got for you guys. So no fishing today, but we went yesterday. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. Come down here to Buttonberry's. Check us out. There's hotel rooms here. There's houseboats. It's nothing fancy, but uh, if you like fishing, hanging out and kind of a marina atmosphere, you got water all around. There's fish in the water. Come check us on out. So we'll see you guys then. We're going. There's Captain Andrew. Say hey.
hey to the boys. <laughs> you guys come down here and go on the Miss Island ride of the party boat, Andrew runs the boat five or six days a week. So an inexpensive way to get on out there fishing. Usually catch some fish for dinner, like yellowtails, mangrove snappers, stuff like that. All right, back to the hole. Here we go. Got him. Ready? Got him. Got him. Get his drop. Don't drop the tail. Yeah. 